So you want to get invested into the stock market, but you have no idea where to begin or which stocks to actually invest into. If that's you, then this video is meant to be your guide, at least to get you going before you lose any money in penny stocks, YouTube market whiz, pump and dumps, hype stocks, or cryptocurrencies that no one has ever even heard of before. With that, let's dive right in. Now, I don't want to waste a lot of your time sharing about the what's, how's, why's, and everything in betweens that you need to know because time in the market is just going to be your biggest benefit. But to breeze over some of the critical tidbits of strategy would just be foolish. Therefore, I want to go ahead and make a few suggestions before diving into three dividend stocks that any beginner can buy immediately and enjoy the dividend income. So first, I want you to know your safest approach, dividend investing or not, will be investing into what I like to call a investment foundation or what many others call a core position. This position should be with an ETF, an exchange traded fund, which is going to provide you all of the security in the world should the market actually falter given it is merely a basket of holdings holdings, as opposed to trying to just pick winners or individual stocks every single time, which is almost nearly impossible to do all the time. Secondly, and listen closely here, targeting only high yield dividend stocks may be tempting, but it could set you up for immediate excitement followed by ultimately crushing devastation should you find yourself involved with a yield trap and the stock share price ultimately depreciates over time. Avoid that. So personally now, I focused on dividend yields that grow over time and usually between a sweet spot of two to three percent of a dividend yield now thirdly here focus on quality companies perhaps the companies involved in your everyday life whereas you're actively using their products or promoting their brands with that i want to kick us off with pepsi ticker symbol pep which in my opinion is right up there with coca-cola so it was really a toss-up between which one i wanted to mention but i'm mentioning pepsi because as of this video it's actually trading on a bit of a discount however when you think pepsi you're very likely thinking of Pepsi the drink, but you have to take note of the fact that Pepsi has been pioneering the beverage industry with other drinks as well, such as Tropicana Orange Juice, Gatorade, Lipton Teas, and Mountain Dew plus many others, while also playing a hand in the snack business, which, believe it or not, makes up a significant portion of their revenue. But I'm talking about snacks like Lay's Chips, Quaker Oats, Cheetos, or my personal favorite, Doritos. And if you're only consuming Pepsi's products, this is now the time to ultimately invest into the company in and of itself, because why not do both? You see, when you believe in a company, and you also use their products, you're supporting them with every purchase. Well, those are all really healthy signs that the company is actually growing and worth an investment. Now, recently, Pepsi took on some heat from their attempt at weight loss supplements and products. So we can see shareholders actually got quite nervous and pulled back or out of the position. The stock slid year to date here, currently trading for $169 per share. I think it's worthy to note that the PE ratio is above 25, but a company like Pepsi never really is going to be on a steep discount, just given the nature of their business and its ability to continue to appreciate over time. As we can see, over 184% worth of appreciation over the last decade. Moreover, analysts continue to see even more upside coming Pepsi's way up by 11% here to $188.43 per share. But let's now talk about the dividends. Simply Safe Dividends rates Pepsi a 93, which is very safe. Pepsi shelling out a 3.2% dividend yield and maintains a 59-year track record worth of dividends while growing that yield year over year for the last 20 years by about 11% on average. So you can see Pepsi's dividend history also sheds light on its reliability, making it a perfect first dividend stock. Now, investors, I have two more stocks just like Pepsi for you, but before I actually cover them and before you go ahead to invest, arguably make your biggest investment right now, taking massive action by subscribing to the channel to join me on this financial freedom journey for all the stock ideas and market insights that you're going to need every single week. Now, trust me, this journey is better traveled as a pack together. And while you're at it, tap on that thumbs up button to let me know that this is the content that you actually came here for and you're getting value from. With that, let's dive into our next stock here, Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG, which is not necessarily a buy right now after it saw a nice run up over the last couple of months. As we can see here, it's trading for $161 per share. It's up by almost 11% here on the year and usually does quite well when the economy is shaky. Yet zooming out, we can see over 176% worth of appreciation. So what 
exactly do we invest into here when we actually invest into Procter & Gamble? Well, really anything from baby care products like diapers or fabric care products like detergents and softeners, but you also are investing into a company that's shelling out personal care products, whether it's deodorants, toothpastes, lotions, shampoos, and all the alike. Literally, anytime you're walking down, say, the aisle of Walmart or Target, chances are you are looking at Procter & Gamble products and even buying a whole heck of a lot of them. Therefore, analysts, despite the stock market on the rise, forecast even more upside, rising up to $165.88 per share. Here's the deal with Procter & Gamble. You're also going to enjoy a very safe dividend here, scoring, again, a 99 very safe on Simply Safe dividends with a yield coming in at 2.34%. And check this out. Over the last 123 years worth of a dividend streak, it's been growing on average by 8% year over year for the last 20 years. Now, in order to even buy Pepsi products or Procter & Gamble products, you actually need to be able to pay for them, believe it or not. And with 84% of adults walking around America with a credit card in their wallet as per a recent Forbes survey, chances are you're using Visa, ticker symbol V, every day. It is probably playing a very active role in our lives every single day, and we're not even questioning that whatsoever. So why aren't we also investing into Visa? Great question. What's even more exciting about Visa is that the company makes money not because they're charging all of us consumers, but because they're actually charging the merchants every single time a transaction is made. And that means they're not in the debt collecting business, but rather they're in the facilitation of transaction business. Great business model. So you can imagine this checks are coming in every single quarter in terms of dividends. We're talking about a very reliable company here, $282 per share. Right now, it's up almost 10% on the year and zooming out nearly 450% worth of appreciation over the last decade. Of course, analysts right now are also still forecasting upside as of this video, 8% forecasted coming up to $305.59 per share. Personally, Visa is a position that I'm eager to continue to scale and a heck of a position that I just want to dominate my portfolio. So in terms of the dividends, when it comes to Visa, just given the nature of them loading up, buying shares back, the value of the stock share price, everything in between, you also get this 0.73% dividend yield. Okay, it's a little small, but we see about 18% year over year growth with Visa in terms of that dividend. And it's been steadily growing for the last 15 years. So an absolute powerhouse. Now investors, there's the three perfect dividend stocks for the beginner dividend investor out there. I'd love to have you comment down below which one of these three you're after or which one you recommend for a newer dividend investor. So comment all your thoughts down in the comment below. Catch more insights right here in this video or subscribe so you catch all my latest videos.